And there's a big, big, huge guy. <laughs> I'm the, the mayor of California. <laughs> oh, my fucking ear just got bit off. God damn it. Orle. <laughs> Go pop him in the fucking head, yo. <laughs> I'm a... On Mickey Mouse, and I'm a... <laughs> Thanks for checking out today's Fresh Till Death podcast, because what else are you going to do? Am I right? There's not much to do. No. We are stuck inside. Locked down. Everybody is locked down and supposed to stay inside right now, even though some people aren't doing that. Yeah. Uh, especially those idiot spring breakers in Florida. Yeah, and they're blaming the millennials, but I'm a millennial, so I kind of take... Yeah, yeah. but you're like an older millennial. Yeah. But yeah. not all millennials, but the yeah. younger ones. And like, they're not even technically, I think, some of them. Some of them aren't, aren't even millennials. They're whatever is after millennials. What's after millennials? Generation like Y Generation. or Z or one of the end of the alphabet. Yeah, one of those. Yeah. Anyway. Um, um, but yeah, so we're going to be locked down in our house for the next two weeks at least. Mm-hmm. Um, can only go to essential businesses if we have to, like the grocery store or the doctor's office. Yeah. Hopefully not the doctor's office. <laughs> that wouldn't be good going to the doctor right now would definitely not be good oh and restaurants are still gonna be open so to-go orders are still gonna be available yep we got we actually uh real quick it's the fresh to death podcast thank you for checking out make sure you check out fresh to death every single monday itunes youtube rate review comment and subscribe to it the fresh to death podcast where alex and i get high and do stuff that comes out only on youtube on tuesdays and the jubal show podcast every single wednesday itunes youtube rate review comment subscribe Post notifications, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Alex and I actually had Red Robin delivered the other night. And it was terrible. Because it, it, was, it was as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah, Red Robin does not keep well if you're getting it delivered. No, it's good fresh, but yep. don't get that stuff to go. Yeah, but uh, like the rest, like everybody right now, we're also stuck inside because of the coronavirus going kind of stir crazy. Except it's weird because Alex and I are both introverted. Very introverted. Um, and unless we have to be out working or the occasional social gathering that we might actually want to go to without canceling. Exactly. Uh, we stay inside. <laughs> but it's weirder yeah. being forced to stay inside yeah. now. Um, you know, with the, what have we done in the past week? We've gone uh, out to like the park to go for like... To get out and get a little exercise. Yeah. Which is kind of interesting because you see people outside and it's weird. You made the comment when we were at the park uh, yesterday that it's like people are starting to live like they used to when people used to go outdoors and like do things. Like eat home cooked meals. Yeah. Spend time with their family. Right. Outside. And, bike ride. And I bet you people, I bet you there are a lot of people going insane right now because they have to be at home with their family. <laughs> mm -hmm. I enjoy it. I like yeah. playing games with the kids. I like the card games and board games. <clears throat> um, puzzles. We've I, played Uno. We started playing Uno. And Taco vs. Burrito is a great game. Yeah, Taco vs. Burrito is a card game, and it's actually a fun one. If you don't have it, you probably won't be able to get it, you know, right now. But um, in the next few <laughs> weeks, possibly on Amazon. Yeah, try to see if Amazon will actually deliver it to you. The whole country is shut down right now, and everybody's stuck inside. We've played Uno a bunch, and I, I, I forgot. I don't know. Do you like Uno? We play it because Jack's the seven year old wants to play it, which it's is fun. fine. It's fun. It's but fun I, to spend time. But I like Taco vs. Burrito better. Taco vs. Burrito is way better than Uno it's if even, you're looking for something like, to do. <clears throat> even for adults, Taco vs. Burrito is fun. Yeah. I don't care. No, Taco vs. Burrito is a good card game. So yeah. uh, try to get that delivered if you can on Amazon. You might not be able to because. Lockdown. Lockdown. And uh, you might not be able to get anything or just Google the rules and make your own cards because you've got time on your hands. That's true. So what else That's are you doing? That's a good idea. Yeah. Just make your own card Definitely. game. Definitely. That's actually a good idea. I bet you there's going to be uh, like some new board games or card games that come out of the whole coronavirus thing because we were just sitting around bored like, what For the sure. fuck else can we do? So anyway, yeah, we're like everybody else just locked down now. But I miss like going out to restaurants and eating and yeah. like happy hour. I don't know. I just I really miss because we did that a lot. You take for granted. You do. Um all like the little things that you do because Alex and I usually will go out for dinner or with the family. But or we just... don't want to stay home. Yeah, it's weird when you want to stay home. It's fine. But when you're kind of told that you have to stay home, it sucks. You feel trapped. It's weird. Yeah. Um, I will say this though, Alex probably had the best coronavirus uh, prediction. Yeah, I, I was. Um, somebody tagged me in in uh, the like a news yeah. story about it. The so last week on the Jubal Show podcast, 
um, it was me, Alex, Manny Martin, and John Slayton, and we were talking about um, the the celebrity. The first celebrity the first, who's going to die from yeah. the coronavirus. The first celebrity. Who's the first celebrity that's going to? There was the celebrity co- coronavirus death pool. Here's Alex's prediction. Who do you guys think is going to be the first celebrity to die from the coronavirus? Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh yeah. I hope so. Yeah. That one nobody would be mad about. Nobody would yeah, be mad about that at all. Everybody would be celebrating the coronavirus on that one. Yeah. yeah. But even but he's so nasty, even the coronavirus is like, I don't want to be in his I body. don't want to fuck with yeah, that. No, I'm not, I don't I, I do not want to be in there. <laughs> and yesterday, guess who has the coronavirus? Mr. Weinstein himself. Mr. Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> I was say his whole name, but then I'm like, what the fuck is his first name? <laughs> Harvey. Harvey um, Weinstein has a coronavirus. Say, like, I was going to say something else, but yeah. <laughs> and he definitely, like, honestly, out of all the celebrities that you've heard that have gotten the coronavirus, he's probably the one that will die from it. I hope so. Yeah, I hope so too. He deserves it. He's a piece yeah. of shit. So, anyway, congratulations. I don't know what you win for that, but yeah. Awesome. I don't know. Sometimes I pr- can tell the future. Awesome prediction. So, yeah. Uh, I know I saw that yesterday on was the Was that news. one girl that predicted the coronavirus? Actually? Uh, Sylvia Brown, psychic Sylvia Brown. Yeah, Manny mentioned it to us yeah. um, and sent us an article. Well, it wasn't our. She wrote a book, apparently, and she predicted the coronavirus. Yeah, and we looked it up on Snopes to check it out and see if it was actually true. And, and it's like 50% true, basically, that yeah. psychic Sylvia Brown, who was one of the, I think, she, I'm not sure. I know you have no idea who she is. Not a clue. <laughs> she was around when Miss Cleo was around. Do you remember Miss Cleo? Yes, I do. Okay. The annoying commercials. Yes. Yeah. So it was like psychic Sylvia Brown, and she was on all the talk shows. I think she'd be on Oprah a lot too. And Miss Cleo, those were the two big psychics of the day. Yeah. Um, and she died in 2013, I heard. Yeah. And I, I don't know if Sylvia Brown got in any legal trouble. I know Miss Cleo got in legal, tr- legal trouble because it's all kind of bullshit. But anyway, Google it. We don't want to go into all of it right now, but well, Sylvia Brown kind of predicted the coronavirus. And she said um, after explaining what was going to happen that just as quickly as it uh, like appeared and arrived that it'll disappear. So And then there'll be another one, she in, said. In 10 years. In 10 and years. then we'll go away completely. Yeah. Um, so. So anyway. So she actually predicts that the world's still, still going to be here in 10 years. So there's that. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of people feeling like this is the end of days for sure. Yeah. Um, I think it's it's all going to pass eventually. Um, yeah, there's been pandemics, you know, you know and but nothing like history. this ever since. But there's we've a been lot alive. more people now, yeah, you know, living on Earth and social media and everything else. Yeah. And at first, I thought it was like, I thought it was all hype. Really, at first, I was like, oh, it's like SARS, and yeah. it wasn't that bad. But man, it's crazy. Um, uh, it makes me so depressing about having to stay at home for the next two weeks. It yeah. makes me want to cry. And homeschool, homeschooling oh, you kids. Know what? Yeah, <laughs> about that. Uh, teachers don't get paid enough. No. They definitely don't get paid enough. But I'm making them do it. Yep. And Alex is up every day making them do their homework and making them do their schoolwork and stuff like that. Homework, um, do all of their, their schoolwork and stuff like that. And Yep. It's, uh, man, trying to keep kids on task to do their work. Like, they all, all every kid right now thinks it's like summer vacation. Yeah, I'm like, no, this is not a break. Yeah. How many parents comment? Let us know in the comment section on YouTube how many parents have had to utter the phrase, this is not a vacation to their yeah. kids right now. And like, I don't know, they're complaining about having to do, I make them do like three, three and a half hours of school a day. Yeah. Like, how much school are you missing? Yeah. Quit complaining. Yeah. You're not even, you're not even in school. Like you're not even doing the amount of work that you would normally be doing in school. Half. Quit complaining. Not even like, not even half. I know. So, it's ridiculous. So Yeah. I'm over it already and it just begun, I feel mm-hmm. like. And we've got to be indoors for... Probably well, they they had a uh, an expert, one of the, the scientists that stopped the Ebola pandemic when mm-hmm. that happened, said that he said, or she, I don't know if it's he or she, but they said that if they put America on a five week lockdown, yeah. that would stop it. Five weeks. That's a long time. That is a super long time to be stuck inside social dis- distancing. I was on a jog the other day, and there was a family walking by. And I was jogging down the street and they literally got off the sidewalk and got like six or seven feet away from me. Yeah, they're scared. So I could run by. I'm like, trust me, if I'm running right now, I'm, I'm probably I probably don't have right? the you coronavirus. Probably not. But uh, <laughs> yeah. And today the Surgeon General announced that this week they predict that it's supposed to be really bad as far as like new cases. Yeah. So just, yeah, just stay inside and dang it. Yeah. It sucks. And, but the, and the problem is there's a lot of people that aren't doing that. 
Like there's a lot of people well, like now they have to. Now they have to, yeah. Uh but the beaches have been packed. Which is ridiculous. Things like that. And Stay all, home. And the I point mean. in the point of like those uh spring breakers that were out there like, if I get corona, I get corona, dude. I just want to fucking party. But they don't get it. They're just dumb. Yeah. They're young and dumb. You they know? are. They don't understand like the severity of, of how it can spread and yeah. things like that. But. And they're thinking about themselves, like if Alex or I get the coronavirus, Dude, we'll probably we, we be fine. We had to cancel our Palm Springs trip this I know. last Seriously. weekend. Are you serious? Like that's devastating. Like that for us to cancel our Palm Springs trip, devastating. that must be a big deal. I was working on my tan and now we I were don't getting even think a good, I can go. We were getting a good base tan. I don't even think I can go to a tanning bed now because they're closed because it's not an essential business. Yeah. Um. That's... Can we petition to make tanning an essential business? I think it has to be an essential <laughs> business because here there's like no sun. We need the vitamin yeah, D. We do. We need it anywhere. Like you, sh- your skin should be brown at all times. Ugh. So we need tanning. But we canceled our Palm Springs trip. So, so. anyway, not going to Palm Springs. That's devastating. Not at least in the next several weeks. <laughs> but those kids that are like that, like they're just thinking about themselves. The point is, even if you're going to be okay, you don't want to get the virus so, and potentially pass it along to someone else that it could hurt who is immunodeficient or overweight. Like over, mm-hmm. like that's another thing too that I hope comes out of the coronavirus yeah. thing is that people start taking care of their health a little better. And realizing that, oh, um, it's good to be healthy. You don't have to be like ripped, but it's good to be healthy and not overweight and obese because a lot of the people that are actually having severe problems is that. And that's part of the reason why they're so scared in our country is because we are a bunch of obese people in America. And uh, there's a lot of people that don't take care of their health. You got that. And then you have like, I think about kids with uh, cystic fibrosis who their lungs are already fucked up. Mm -hmm. You know, like... You could pass it along to someone who could pass it along to a kid who has cystic fibrosis and then that kid dies. So that's why people are saying to stay home. So stay home if you if you if you can uh, as much as possible. Yeah. I know it's a pain in the ass, but try to stay home. So So we recommended Taco vs. Burrito. What games would you recommend for us during this time that we yeah. may not know about or that aren't like popular? We've been playing Halo. <laughs> Non-stop. Which I can. I can play Halo all day, every day. Alex and can never, play Halo like crazy. Never get sick of it. Yeah, and we're going to start a Twitch. Uh, we've got it all yeah, ready we're going to do go. a live stream, you know, because yeah. we have the time now. <laughs> yeah. We're going to live stream Twitch on so. Halo. Sorry, I'm not playing um, Modern Warfare. I'm not playing Gears of War. I'm not playing uh, Fortnite. I'm not playing any other game besides Halo. But Alex Halo is, 5. She's a beast at Halo and I'll commentate on Twitch. There you go. And we'll do it or that way. we can way. both play. We can both play. Can, I'm terrible. We can do both. Both yeah. of that. We'll, we'll do that. We're it's gonna, very entertaining though. Yeah, we're going to start a live stream on Twitch so make sure you check us out there eventually. We'll let you know when we get it up and running. Um, we're probably going to try to do it later tonight but we'll see if we do. So yeah, Halo mm. Halo 5 is 4 on 4. Um, the people that I play against and with are also yeah like live. So, so um, it's fun. We've been playing Halo. Uh, any other suggestions you have on like shows we should try to check out now? since we have nothing to do or games that we can play. And we figured instead of like rehashing all of the coronavirus stuff. Bullshit. Because, I mean, really the news isn't, other than just new cases coming up and uh, different places going on lockdown, because eventually it's going to be nationwide. Yeah. Uh, the news isn't that much different, but it's like I keep I keep like refreshing news sites and seeing the same news stories over and over and over again. Basically... Mm-hmm. We all know that it's bad and we all know we should stay inside and hopefully the economy doesn't crash and hopefully like the world doesn't come to an end. Well, as far like w- what's her name? She said it's Sylvia Brown. Yes. According to her, this is not the end of the world. So, okay. so just psychics, calm down. So psychic Sylvia Brown. Calm down. Said, stay inside. We're going to get through it, guys. And it'll be fine. And psychic Sylvia Brown said it. So, you know, it's true. Play all the games. So instead of uh, instead of just rehashing all the coronavirus stuff, I think we've Giving it enough. We're just going to play a game today. We're going to play. Heads up. Heads up. This is a fun game you can play while you're stuck at home with your family trying to figure out what the fuck to do because the coronavirus has you locked inside. This is soup's fun. We've played it before for... Did we do it for a regular podcast or the podcast? We did. We did. Uh, towards the beginning of when we first started. Yeah. One of the first podcasts or podcasts we played, Heads Up. This is the game on your phone. Download the app. And you hold the phone. You need to explain it because I I'm always I always forget the rules to games. Always. Um, you get like a minute to I'll hold the phone and I'll explain. There's categories. 
I'll explain something and he's going to try and guess what it is. And he tries to get as many as he can in a minute. And there are um, different categories of There's like, like brands, um, bottoms up, which has to do with everything like alcoholic, um, right. pop culture, superstars, acted out, animals, accents, and but impressions. But you can't say the word, right? You, there's different um, rules to different, okay. uh, but you can read it. So like if you click on it, it'll say for accents and impressions. Mm. Do your best accents and impressions to help your teammate figure out the accent or person. And then we'll tell you like, you can't say, you can't say the word or okay. you can't say something that rhymes like, oh, it rhymes with, you know. So if it's an English accent, I can't be like, I'm English, mate. <laughs> I'm a, yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go first. I'm going to pick. Are you going first? You're going to try to act out the thing. I'm going to I'm going to do branded. So this is um, name that brand. Help your teammate. Well, we're just going to do back and forth with each right. other. Um, guess the brand name on the card from Gap to Gatorade without saying the word on the card and without rhyming. Okay, so I'm gonna hold the phone to my forehead. No, nope, you're I'm gonna hold going the phone, to, and I'm going to say, I'm gonna try to um, explain what the brand is, and then you're gonna try and guess it. Okay. Wait. It's not how you normally do it. Usually, you do it put on the forehead, but this uh, time I'm just gonna. We're gonna. Do you not understand? I don't know why no. I don't understand. So let me just show you right here. Okay. okay so. It's supposed to be placed on my forehead, uh -huh. and you're supposed to say it to me, and I'm supposed to guess, but I'm going right. to do it this way. And you're going to look at it. So it's the things that we put in, like, Diet Coke to explode it. Mentos? Yes. Okay. So, oh, it's um, TV dinners that are, like, healthy. Um, uh, the, name brand, na the name brand for them. Weight Watchers. Other one. Or you can say pass. Lean Cuisine. Yes. Yes. Um, they're very colorful cereal that are circles. I saw it. Fruit Loops. Yes. <laughs> I got to look um, away from the phone because I saw the answer. Oh, this name is, it could be two things. It's either, uh, an electronic or an old rapper. Electronic company or an old rapper. Same name. Uh, an electronic company or an okay, old rapper. Okay, I'm going to pass it because I was really bad. What Cisco. Cisco? Oh, he was like a, he was a rapper. He was an R and B singer. God, it was whatever. <laughs> it's a, a musician. I should have said. All right. Sorry. You could have said tong, 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 tong. Yeah, I could have. <laughs> that's it. The time's up. Okay, that was the time. Okay, so that's how you do it. Okay. So that was just like showing. So y usually you put it on your forehead, and you would try to to have so me guess. I would explain it to you, then you would guess. And then, but. I think this way just will is how I want to do it right now. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, that makes sense. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do name that brand because I was just as an example. Okay. So. So we'll start it. We'll do it the same way. Okay. All right. So are we starting? We're starting. Okay. Oh, I can hear oh, it. That's stupid. I'm just going to pass some. Oh, um, you put it on an owie. Wait, how are we keeping score? On here. Oh. Okay. Okay, should we restart? <laughs> yes, okay. restart. I'm sorry. I'm terrible at games sometimes. That's I, fine. Like because I, this, this keeps score, and like if I put it up, it'll mm -hmm. pass it. If I put it down, it says correct, so it'll keep score that way too. Okay. Okay. So this is keeping score for me now. Yes. All right. I think I've got it. I know. I kind of did it backwards on you, which is not how Yeah, but I'm also an idiot at keeping up with directions. So, okay. Yeah, and it's not that hard to figure out, so. <laughs> it is. For me, it <laughs> okay. is. All right. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is heads up because we just need to kill some oh, time. Oh, you play video games on it. It's like an old console. Uh, Nintendo? Of, yes. Yeah. Um, uh, no. <laughs> They're a type Mich of tire. Goodyear? Other. Um, Michelin? Nope. Uh, Toyo? Nope. Uh... There's another oh, big one. What am I missing? Goodyear, Michelin, Toyo. Um, Pirelli? No. Firestone? Oh, God. Um, okay. Pirelli's oh, Lego, over. my... Oh, yep. Ego. Yeah. That was easy. Lego, my... Ego. Did you switch it? But, uh, I'm just passing ones that are bad. Um, oh, okay. It's a type of sugar packet. C and H? Nope. H and C? Nope. Brown raw sugar? No. Brown sugar? No. Time's up. What is it? Equal. Equal. <laughs> oh, equal's not sugar, though. What is it? I don't know. It's like another thing. It's, it's like, like it's, it's not actually sugar. It's though. like an 
It's in the little packets that are in the thing always. Yeah, it's the blue one. It's still a sugar. It's a fake in. sugar. It's though. still a sugar. I'm going to Google what equal is real quick, okay? Because I don't think it's like, I think it, uh, hold on one second, equal. Equal sugar. Sugar substitute. Sugar substitute. So Equal it's is a brand of artificial sweetener containing aspar- asp- aspartame. 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 So- so should I said it's a sugar substitute? That's yeah, you should have said it's a sugar substitute with aspartame. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so how did I do on that then? You got two. That's it? Yeah. Oh my God, that's again? terrible. Um, well, you got to go now. Okay. Do you want to do brands now too? Yeah. Yeah, we'll see how you do it, brands. Okay. So we'll see it. how I do it, seeing if I can give you the tips that'll get... Okay, so putting it up... Uh-huh is path putting it down is correct all right i'm probably gonna get that wrong ready yes um i saw that one so pass it <laughs> delta airlines is it down or up <laughs> just do up is pass okay uh, all right i passed on it and now it's like it's not come on it's not giving me it just says pass the whole time oh there it goes um this is it's cranberry juice uh but not like a, it's not like actual cranberry juice. Um, it's juice. It's got like a blue label. I think. Cran apple. No, it's brand. The brand is. Cran. Uh, um, if water like the beach you go to. Yeah. And then, Nestle. No. No. Snapple. No. No. I'm gonna pass. What was it? Ocean spray. Ah. Oh. That was a bad one. I think. Uh, they have a gecko. Gecko. Uh, yeah, that's easy. Oh, I passed on it. Dang it. I'm sorry. Um, this is a phone company. AT and T. No, I, I got T-Mobile. it. No, time's up. That was. I I feel like I fucked you up on that. Do it again. Do it again. Uh, I want to do it again because okay. I feel like I read those really wrong, and then I also <clears throat> didn't. Um, I didn't t- turn it the right way. Right. Ready? Down is correct. Three, two, one. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Yes. Down is correct. Yes. Okay. I'm screwing up. You your gotta time. do it quickly. Um. You, uh, she's got a, a red hair. Dave Thomas's daughter. Who's Dave Thomas? Oh, is that Wendy's? Yes. <laughs> um, they deliver stuff. Uber. No, like packages. UPS. Close. FedEx. The next one. Yeah. Ooh, got it. Okay. Um, it's a candy bar. Snickers. No, there's Reese's. there's not two of them. Not one of them, not two of them. There's three of them. Yes. The three musketeers. Yes. I'm tearing it up right now. You take this when you have a headache. <laughs> Ibuprofen. No. Tylenol. No. Uh, Migraine. It's, uh, not sub- it's not subtracting. It's, it's minusing. It's adding. Yeah. What? It's something you take for a headache. Ad- uh, acetaminophen? No. Adding. But adding. Ad- Advil. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that was a bad. No, you did good. What'd you get then? What's the score? I got one, two, three, four, four. Four? All Advil, right. though. That I don't know why I didn't get that. I was trying to think of one, and I have Advil. I Could don't... I have said Vil? Could I have said subtract Vil? It's the opposite of subtract no, Vil? No, no. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's do... So this is a fun game you can play with your fam while you're sitting around the quarantine <clears throat> table. I'm going to do Brandon one more time before All right. I move on to another one. Okay. Okay. So far, you're beating me. Or, wait, who's winning? I know, right? It's just kind of just for fun, whatever. Okay. Okay, it's the acne stuff that you put on your face. That Clearasil. Like a, no, it's like the three-step system from like a long time ago where they sold it, you know? Oh, what is that called? Jessica Ro- Simpson was Roden a- Rodan Fields. Wasn't Jessica Simpson a- I don't know, but what is the name of that? Oh, what is it? Uh. Oh, my God. Oh, that's going to bug not- me. Re, it's. Or I, Re? I, I, I was gonna say the whole word, but I can't because it has. Um, name. I know what you're. It's, oh my God, pass. What is it? Proactive. Proactive. That's it. Oh my God. Yeah, uh, J- Jessica Simpson was a. It's a type of. You wouldn't get that. No. <laughs> type of no. Okay. Um, what type of camera? Polaroid. Nope. Uh, candid. No, that's not right. Um. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Panasonic? Nope. Sony? Nope. Uh 
Oh man, people are, people are watching Nikon. Nikon. Oh, people are watching or listening to this probably going crazy. <laughs> okay. I right, so, should do another round or two and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna do up. accents and impressions. Okay. I'm gonna be really bad at it, by the way. I'm starving. Me too. I'm so we hungry right order now. Order some Domino's and eat it. We should. Right here. We can order Domino's right now. Yeah. Should um, I? I mean. Well, you can order it now or... Yeah, I can order it now. Yeah, you might as well just order it right now. Okay, order it right now. <laughs> All right, so you just... We're getting some Domino's we're... because we're stuck inside, but we also order Domino's a lot anyway. They like us. They do. They like us a lot. Okay, um, I still want to do accents and impressions, so stay here, but I'm just going to order some Domino's real quick. Yeah. What um, do you want? Uh, I'll do ch I'll do chicken wings. And Ain't no thing but a buffalo chicken wing. Yeah, right? buffalo wings, and then also whatever pizza you want. Uh, pepperoni's fine. Um, okay. I do this. I've been getting this sandwich a lot from there. It's pretty good, this Italian sandwich, but I'm not really feeling that right now. So let's yeah. do that. And by the way, if you're locked in for quarantine, uh, try to, if you can, support your businesses around you by ordering takeout when you can. Like Domino's. Like Domino's. Domino's Pizza. I think pizza. they mean like local. <laughs> Domino's is a local. It's our local pizzeria just down the street. Our local pizzeria. <laughs> uh, order something from your local pizzeria like Domino's. And uh, but anyway, yeah, like try to support some of those businesses because they're all struggling right now. Even, even if you can't, you can't. But if you do have extra cash once a week to try to order something, I would say try to do that to help with some of those businesses that are going to be hurting. I feel bad for a lot of the businesses right now I that know. have to close up. Um, it's interesting to see which ones are like trying to classify themselves as an essential, essential business, yeah. which again, tanning should be an essential business. Because, we need the vitamin D. Yeah, we need vitamin D. Um, also, like the thing is, like I'm a little bit overweight. I'm not happy exactly with my weight right now. And fat looks a lot better when it's brown. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it I does. Mean, you do look better when you're brown. You do look better when you're brown. Like I don't want my love handles to be pasty white. I want them to be brown and tan, mm -hmm. and look yummy. Same, same. So, um, but anyway, yeah, it's funny to see what what places are classifying themselves as essential and non-essential businesses. But, um, but yeah, support if you can. It, I, I feel bad for a lot of those where I used to work in the food service industry and I feel so bad for those people. Cause man, I don't know how I could have, I would have done it if I, I mean, I would probably start Uber eating like driving for Uber eats or yeah, something. It's going to affect a lot. Yeah. Okay. So I just ordered it. Um, okay. So pizza's on its way. Okay. We're going to go right. accents and impressions. Okay. All right. I'm going to be really bad at this by the way. Oh, I can't wait for you to do them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, well, this is where you're from. Where I'm from? A, <clears throat> America? Like a surfer dude. Wait, so... Wait, hold on. No, no. You can say the name. Was it California? Yeah, Californian. Okay, but you have to do the accent, and I have to guess I know, it. but I can also... Accents... And impressions. So it's like, oh, what's up, dude? You want to come surfing with me out here on the side? <laughs> like, is that what I have to do? Yes. Okay. Because you have to do Because, I mean. All right. I'll try. Yeah. All, right, All right. Here I go. <laughs> I didn't want to have to do that, you know. <laughs> I know you didn't, but I think that's why you have to do it. <laughs> I'm a, on Mickey Mouse and I'm a. <laughs> a mouse? No. A, you're what on Jax Mickey does really good. Mickey Mouse. No, the other one. He does good. Uh. uh oh, I can't do it. Donald Duck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hello, mate. Uh, sorry, about, sorry, sorry about all the loud noise last night, mate. Sorry, Australian? sorry about my fucking kids, mate. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh. All the millions and the trillions and the billions. Donald Trump? The, yeah. <laughs> you got that right away. Uh, um. Right. Oh, I can't even do this one. Oh. Try whatever it is. I like to go into the pub and get some beer. <laughs> <laughs> is that English? No. The pub and get some beer. Who likes beer and goes to the pub a lot? English people. Irish. Irish. <laughs> we did it last week in the podcast for the. Cannabis. Do the Irish. Do the Irish. You figured out how to do the Irish. You just have to do it fast. The Irish just talk fast. Yes. So all I you have to do is just talk fast. I can't do it though. <laughs> okay, here. But you speed up the accent. Okay, here. You speed up. You You're speed up your speech. Really you can do the Irish you accent pretty easy. You can do accents really good. So uh, I've... well, I used to be able to. Let's see if I can. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, I used to be able to do this, actually. Hey, everybody! I can't do it now. It's the same thing that you were talking about, Jax, but... Mickey Mouse? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be able to do it. What the heck? That's funny. Um, <laughs> Oi! The whole mashpucha! A pirate. No. You're not going to get this. Yiddish. No. Okay. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> uh, pass on that. Uh, it's taking forever. I passed already. Do it again. Come on. I pat. There we go. Um, all right. And to do frying. God, I used to be able to do this too. And it shouldn't have been there. Tom and to do frying. In- <laughs> no. Uh, what else? Um, I have. Oh my God. This is going <sighs> to. Okay. Oh. Poor Andy Dufresne. I don't, don't. That's a, that was not bad right there. Poor Andy Dufresne. Shawshank Redemption. Morgan Freeman. I wouldn't Morgan Freeman. have gotten that. Would you have gotten Morgan Freeman if I would have done it better? No. No? Do you know who Morgan Freeman is? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we're going to do accents and impressions one more time each. Poor Andy Dufresne. Definitely I, didn't have any idea what you were doing. Uh, I got to brush up. Um, well, aren't you just a... A sassy little girl. <laughs> Is it like Southern? Kind of. Southern a, Belle? Like a, no. Um, a, from one of them states. From one of them, st- South? From one of the states down South? You're a, yeah, pick a state and you're a, like a Californian, but you're Georgia? A, yeah, but you're Georgian? A, yes. Wow. Oh, um. I'm just a big, big, huge guy. <laughs> I'm the, the mayor of California. <laughs> What? <laughs> what is Who's that? Who's the mayor of California? Who's the mayor of California? Right, or the governor? The governor of California? <laughs> oh, you Arnold Schwarzenegger? He's not the governor anymore. <laughs> but that was can a we, really can good. We edit that out, please. That was a really good Arnold editing, Schwarzenegger impression. I'm a even... really big guy. No, I liked it. <laughs> it was gonna... perfect. It sounded just like Arnold. We're not... <laughs> We're not putting that in. It okay. sounded just like Arnold. Okay. I'm a really big guy. <laughs> I'm a big, huge guy. <laughs> you do it. You do it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's all I can do with that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, dang it. I didn't, the sa- job out. I didn't save it. The video? Yeah. Oh, it's fine. We can do it. Without Sorry. It. Okay. I want you to do some more. Okay. Just a couple more. Okay. I really like your impressions. I don't. They're really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. They're really good. Hello, I, oh, oh, come and drink some tea with me today. English? No, but Scottish, also, kind of, but no. You already did Irish. Uh, drink some tea with me. Australian? No, New Zealand? British. British. It's like the oh. only, uh, That'd be English, right? Um. I get. I don't know. Okay. Orle. <laughs> Go pop him in the fucking head, yo. <laughs> And grab my fucking bandana, my blue bandana while you're at it, yo. Before I pop you in the fucking ass, yo. Uh, A gang member. A gangster. A gangster, okay. (laughs) Oh, shit. I was confused. I was like, I don't know what you're trying. I don't know exactly. I wouldn't even know what to do. I wouldn't even know what to do. Just try them. Oh, my fucking ear just got bit off. God damn it. That Mike fuck- Tyson? Yeah. No, not Evander Holyfield. Oh, Mike Tyson bit it. Yeah, but you but still got still, it. Okay, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> so I did the wrong one. But I, still, you got it. I mean, it was. I'm going to bite this fucking ear because it tastes so goddamn good yeah. in my mouth. Mike Tyson, he, he talks yeah. really hard. He's got a high pitch. Like, kind of like that. So I'm going to bite your ear off. It's a weird and guy. I'm going to eat your ear. I'm going to bite off and I'm going to play my pigeon. You know what, though? I might smoke with Mike Tyson one day. That'd be fucking amazing. He smokes a lot of weed. Okay, I'm gonna Mike do it Tyson. Again. Have you seen how much weed Mike Tyson smokes? No, he smokes a ton. I of don't weed. ever watch videos of Mike Tyson. He smokes a ton of weed. Jack's Hotel, Transylvania. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you should have tried to do a Transylvanian accent. I would have loved to have heard that. I am the Transylvania God. Person. Dracula would be a good Transylvania. Who am I? I don't know. Dun, dun. Darth Vader? Yes. <laughs> Hello, I like to go in the bobsled. Yo, I like to go in the bobsled. Jamaican. Jamaican. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I, Is that what it was? Jamaican well, no, bobsled South team? African. South African. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Hello, South African's kind of um, like English, honestly. I'm not British, but I am. That's all I know. English? Scottish. Scottish. 
Uh, oh, that was amazing. <laughs> Valley Girl? <laughs> no. Laughing? Elmo. Elmo. Oh. You like a Tickle Me like Elmo? Tickle Me Elmo, yeah. I might have got that if you kept doing it. I might have got that. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to do that anymore. All right. Because that's embarrassing. You want me to try it? It's not embarrassing. You so did a great job. Your turn now. Nobody has ever seen a better Arnold Schwarzenegger person. I'm a big, huge guy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the mayor of California. I, I'm the mayor of California and Which, I'm big. Who is the mayor of California? The, the governor of California. I know, but who's the mayor? You should know. The mayor is uh, Villaraigosa, Anthony Villaraigosa, I think. Okay. Or he was the old mayor, I think. All right, this uh, is the last round. All right. Um, Without oh, the mayor of Los Angeles, I said. Oh. All right, anyway. Uh, there's no way you're going to get this. No, so pass. We found the cure for the 21st century and you've lost it. Pass. Sean Connery. <laughs> pass. That was an okay Sean Connery, wasn't it? Uh, I'm not going to even do this one. Because the only way if I did it, it would come across racist. Okay, what? what Japanese. What is it? <laughs> it was Japanese. Oh. Um, <laughs> uh, hey, a pasta fagiola. Italian. Yes. <laughs> you could just said where I'm from. Um, I'm just kidding. No, yeah, you are I'm Italian. I'm six person yeah. Italian. Hey, what are you doing over here? I'm trying to park. Oh, that's a, uh, the uh, Bronx. No. The New Yorker. It's close. It's yeah, it's uh, Boston. It's, um, uh, 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 Jim Tan Laundry. Yeah. People. Oh, Aguido. Yeah, but where are they from? New Jersey. Yes. God damn it. Uh, we oui, we. Oui. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Ha, ha, ha. Italian? No. <laughs> French. Yes, Italian. French. <laughs> French. Okay. French. I didn't. I didn't mean to say Italian. You gotta do one more. All right. You want to try? I want to do one more of the accents for you. Yeah. All right. Ha, ha, ha. Again, we're hoping this is helping you kill some time while you're on. Yeah, quarantine. we're hoping that you can follow along too, but I don't think so. Oh, this is gonna be easy because you, yeah, dude. Like we're gonna go down, yeah, like drive California. down the four hundred five, and like, like a hippie. Got it. Like you say, California, right? Yeah. Um. Okay. Ooh, I don't know how to do this one. Um, I'll just pass it. Okay. What was it? It was Greek. Mm. <clears throat> um. Okay. What is the deal with? Jerry Seinfeld. I don't. I can't do it. No, I was gonna say Doctor Phil. Dang it! Uh, <laughs> dang it, Brooklyn. I don't know. <laughs> Jamaican, uh, Georgian. These are all ones you've had already. Italian again. Oh, what the hell? New Yorker. Um, uh, Scooby Doo. Oh shoot! Scooby Doo. -doo. How do you? Scooby Doo. -doo. Scooby Doo. -doo. Yeah. Scooby Snack. I had Scooby and I pass on it, but I'm like, what would I have done? I would be yeah. like, Scooby Doo. Uh, Guess this one, can you? Guess this one, can you? No. Yoda. I don't know. Yoda. Yeah, I don't know. No? I don't watch those. Whatever <laughs> that, they are. That's those Star TV, Wars. Those, that was Star Wars. TV series. That's a movie. <laughs> very, very famous movie series, Yoda. I've never heard of it. Well, I need to brush up on my um, impressions, man. So do I. I'm terrible now. I used to be good. Well, I honestly used to be good. I'm going to check and see where our Domino's is at. I'm looking at the Domino's tracker. <laughs> <laughs> it's at quality check so it should be out for delivery so. all right so should we wrap up the podcast then? yeah we're gonna go have some pizza <laughs> all right we're gonna eat some pizza uh and continue to self-quarantine make sure to check out the podcast tomorrow yep. um whatever we do it'll be a good one yes check out the podcast every single tuesday itunes uh not itunes just on youtube sometimes it's on itunes but that's a youtube exclusive yep uh, every single Tuesday in the Jubal Show on Wednesday, iTunes, YouTube, rate, review, comment, subscribe to the Fresh to Death podcast every single Monday. And yeah, we're just going to go quarantine ourselves and try to figure out what else to do. I'm probably going to work on my impressions because they've gotten so bad. I'm probably going to so go bad. eat some pizza and eat some ice cream and play when some I Halo. Used to, when I used to work at Fox Sports, I've told you this, I used to be able to do such a good Stephen A. Smith impression. Oh, yeah. That I would actually call other radio shows pretending to be him and they would interview me as a it's guest. It's insane. I was so good at it. It's insane. Try to do it right now. I can't. Try. I'd have to like I'd have to watch him and try it. He again. legit called other stations yeah, and did interviews amazing. with somebody else and they didn't know. And that they it didn't wasn't know. And I would just guy. start saying off the wall shit. But And then I'm like, wouldn't this guy hear these at once in a while or like I, I don't know. I'm sure so at some point he did. And he'd be like, should I said that? Yeah. <laughs> but he always says off the wall stuff anyway. But I used to be able to nail his voice. I used to be good at impressions and I'm terrible at crazy. them. I'm horrible at them now. I don't know what happened. You it's just really have frustrating. to listen and watch and you'll get it. I guess now that we have all this quarantine time. Yeah. All right. Next week, I'm going to work on something. And then on next week's Fresh Till Death podcast, 
I will do something. I will I'll do an impression that I used to be able to do that I can't do anymore. I'll work on it. Okay. Because well, we have time to kill now. Your I'll my favorite impression of yours is the cholo. I know. It's literally like I could be so pissed at you and you just talking to cholo. Should voice, I just do that from now on if you get upset at me about like, something? Yeah. I'm just like, oh, really? calm down, fuck. Yeah. I I, I cannot. <laughs> It's the Why best. are you fucking tripping? Why are you fucking tripping, yo? <laughs> Fuck. You fucking hate me right now. You're always on my case, eh? Fuck. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> all right. I just want you to talk in a chill voice like all, all the time. The time. All, I can do that for you all, all the time. time. In, all the even time. in the middle of sex. All the time. Orale, you like that girl? Orale, uh. harder. <laughs> Let's you want to go going. harder? You want to go deeper? Orally, harder like than that, any, babe. It's not like I have any extra dick. I can't even you know? feel it right now. It's all the way in, though. You need to pump a little harder. Fuck, I'm not holding out any dick on you. I don't got no more. That's then it. fucking move it like the ocean, you Orally, know? Like, fuck. Fuck, just... <laughs> uh, all right. That was the podcast. We'll see you guys next week. Hopefully, you guys stay sane and uh, the coronavirus stuff starts to die down and we can go outside and... and uh, we not have to social distance or, uh, I mean we'll still social yeah. distance because we're introverts but it would be nice to be able to go to a restaurant and then be, be like this place is too crowded we should leave you know definitely comment on new games that we should play yes let us know fun what... like unique games that yeah. aren't hard to teach a 7 year old who has ADD yeah cool. or me because I or feel like or a 40 year old that has ADD I feel like it's harder to teach me how to play games than it is to teach Jax the 7 year old because I fucking just cannot get it sometimes you had to explain the heads up to me Thing to me like four times well i mean i did do it backwards and we did yeah and but we've played it before i should know how to play it also yeah i didn't it's not hard to understand, <laughs> all right well all right. we'll see you guys next week see you bye bye